Hey there, Internet. Just wanted to show off a quick prototype I made. This is based off of the Swiss Mac uh, boxways. And I wanted to see how difficult it would be to make um, essentially aluminum, an aluminum boxway uh, that, that where the bearing surfaces are actually on Delrin or something like Delrin. And um, this material here, I'll just show it off real quick. So, um, you know, this is... Um, this is just a regular old piece of, I think it's four tall aluminum. Um, this is HDPA from um, essentially a, a one inch thick uh, chopping board, cutting board. And uh, I milled this down to, you know, as square as I could get it. And um, if you see here, um, it's it's freely moving, um, but if I, if I try to twist it, um, it's not, it's not really moving very much. So there's a little bit of twist there. Um, just a little tiny bit. Um, but this doesn't have any adjustment gibbs. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make um, I'm going to make a, the the constraint for like an L-shaped uh, piece that sits down on top of here that constrains it uh, in an additional axis so it can only move one way. And then I'm going to make a gib uh, adjustment um, so that I can, um, you know, I can, I can really tweak the, uh, uh, how it sits in here. Um, but I don't think it's going to wear. And, um, he said that he's been testing it quite a bit. Um, the reason I did this is, uh, quite a long time ago, I bought these guys. Uh, and I mean, they're great, uh, in, in this direction, but, um, in, in this direction, if, if you can hear it, it's really clicking. Now, these have an adjustable uh, uh, preload um, on these nuts that I can crank down, uh, but then I'm going to crank the friction up and then I'm going to crank the wear up. And um, while I didn't know, I had no idea what I was doing when I was bought these, um, and they're not very good. Um, you know, I also have a set of these. And these are going to be great, but they're really not very well constrained in this direction. So if anything's pulling up this way, they're 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 not very well constrained. Down this way, uh, they do a great job. And then kind of you know, uh, you know, out from here to here, they also do a good job. But uh, pulling force is not so good. So this is great for um, you know for. for uh, an x-axis plate to sit down on or something like that, right? Um, and then, you know, I also have these, um, which are, uh, these are really actually much higher quality than I expected. Um, I got these from, I think, RBC uh, Bearing on AliExpress. And, um, you know, these have great characteristics where they're well constrained and there's no wiggle or wobble or anything here and there's almost no friction. Um, there's only one um, uh, there's only one surface that they're they're riding on. If you get the bigger ones um, if you get the bigger ones like this guy um, the bearings are actually riding on four different surfaces um, there's only one set of bearings inside of this, and you can see uh, the bearings on the inside of there. But um, this guy, which is, this is 12 millimeter, this is 20 millimeter. Um, this monster here actually has four sets of bearings. And this this has, you know, quite a, a lot more resistive forces to kind of any moment forces than this guy does. But, you know, what I'm trying to build is um, a dedicated machine for doing PCB milling. And I was thinking to myself, like, you know, this is great. These are really optimized for long travel, very efficient. Um, but for my mill, I really only need, I mean, I'm really only plunging down a millimeter. Um, you know, I might have a total travel of like, you know, let's say an inch. Um, but I don't need more than an inch. And I, and I thought it was kind of wasteful to, to use a set of these on something that required, you know, such a small amount of travel. So, you know, I didn't think about it before, but boxed ways and dovetail ways are, you know, a really good way to get this kind of travel. They're, they're, they're very highly dampened um, because there's a, there's a lot of surface contact 
there's more friction. But for a z-axis, uh, where you're really moving up and down, and you know you're plunging, and you want that rigidity, so the main cutting action that you're going to make uh, while the axis is in motion is a plunge, and that's where you want the most rigidity. If you're if you're boring holes or those sorts of things, right? Ultimate rigidity. Uh, once it gets down in place, now all your forces on this are are uh, moment forces, uh, and that's going to introduce twisting this way and and twisting this way. And you want as much rigidity there as you can. So, you know, I could have used these, but there's only little, these little baby M3 screws. You know, I got about an inch and a half of surface area, uh, maybe, you know, two inches of surface area, not even. And I just didn't think that they would provide as much rigidity as this would. Um, maybe I don't actually need it for a PCB mill, um, but, uh, you know, I, I'm trying something new and experimenting and learning a little bit. So, this is what I came up with. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, further constrain this and, and figure out how to get the GIB system on here. And uh, I just thought I'd share that for anybody who's interested in what it might take to, you know, think about designing boxed ways and to use something like a Delrin or an HDPA uh, on an aluminum bearing surface uh, as an alternative to something like a cast iron and, and a, you know, some, some other type of surface. Anyway, thanks for watching.